Hi class, uh, so my name is Kevin Rader and I am here to do the introduction for week one. Um, I'm gonna have to make this pretty quick because it seems like uh, anytime I go over about six or seven minutes, it um, it starts to freeze on me. And so I don't want that to happen again. And uh, I usually don't make them that long, but in this uh, situation, or in this one, it seems like uh, we need that much time, but I might have to um, brush over some things. So anyways, uh, first question, uh, what is your current occupation? Where do you work? Uh, I primarily coach um, soccer, but I do coach all sports. Um, I really do focus on goalkeeping lessons for soccer. Um, and as well as I do some Instacart on the side. Uh, which is, if you don't know, just pretty much delivering uh, groceries or shopping for people at grocery stores and then going and delivering that food. Um, and where do I work? Uh, I work anywhere from near the border, the Tijuana, uh, uh, United States border, all the way up to uh, an area called St. Marcos, which is maybe like 20, 25 minutes north of uh, Del Mar. So, yeah. Um, what the second question what research topic do you intend to investigate for your capstone project uh, so i'm going to stick with i think the same one that i had last time which is the impact of implementing uh, technology into the physical education classroom i think it fits with this class so i and i luckily picked that one before so i figured might as well kind of stick with that one uh, what are your five strengths that were i i identified in PE 582 when you completed the strengths finder assessment. So the five I got was uh, or were competitive, futuristic, significance, focus, and adaptability. And then to briefly kind of talk about my strengths on each one of those, um, I'm not going to name them all for each one, but I'm just going to talk, uh, name the ones I'm going to talk about. So for significance, uh, for strengths, um, I'm definitely um, credible in getting my work done. Um, I like the independent part of it of just making sure that I do get everything done. Um, and uh, exceptional, I try to make all my work exceptional. Sometimes I get overloaded. I know I just I gotta get things turned in, but I do really work hard on making a, uh, a good assignment um, worth of some sub substance so uh, focus um, I'm definitely goal oriented I have all my goals or my assignments in this case um, ran out so I am definitely driven um, I'm disciplined in making sure that I get my things done um, and I have the laser like precision focus um, I don't want to say all the time because it's not true but when I really do just can feel in the zone um, I do get that laser-like focus. Uh, so those are all good things there. Um, adaptability, I am flexible. Um, I am present when, uh, well, when we used to have class, but just when doing the assignments, I'm in the moment. Um, I like getting them done, I like concentrating on them and learning from them and uh, kind of go with the flow. It doesn't really apply here, but uh, you know, just if things change, that I'm, I'm willing to adapt to that. Uh, competitive, um, I'd say I'm driven. I can be intense. Um, and so I do need to make sure that as a form or as a coach, that that intensity wears off on the right people in my, for my students and for the students that aren't so um, athletic or competitive or don't want to be there, that I kind of bring that down a little bit um and motivated um, i'm definitely motivated to do the best i can and finish off strong uh, lastly futuristic i'm creative in my ideas i'm pretty feel like i'm inspiring in some of my ideas uh i'm imaginative in my ideas on different games and activities and ways that students can learn and uh i, I see the visionary and the end game and um, I'm excited for the future and being able to become a teacher and hopefully work at a community college. Uh, and then the other part of it is the last question, the, the uh, explaining the basement for your strengths and how it made deter you in completing your capstone and identi uh, identify the steps you will take to overcome these. So significance, 
Um, needs recognition doesn't apply real quick. Uh, selfishness, I'm not doing this for the money um, or anything else. Uh, unmotivated, uh, I mean, sometimes, yeah, I can definitely feel unmotivated, especially because it's, sometimes it's hard for me to sleep. Um, so I do need to work on that. Um, so that may deter me away a little bit, but uh, I, I know things have to get done. So if I had to sacrifice other things, I do. Uh, focus, um, it's tough for me to relax. It is. Um, and I'm definitely stressed a lot um, just over things in general besides school. But for right now, mainly school. Um, so I, I don't want that to take away from my learning. Uh, like sometimes it has in the past, adaptability, um, indecisive, not really inclusive, uh, not fully invested. There are times where it's like I feel like I zone out, so maybe I can do a better job of that. Um, and really learning deeper the material. Um, competitive, sore loser doesn't apply or self centered. I'm not in this case, I guess. Um, confrontational not too much um and, com and comparing uh yeah you know sometimes I, I feel like other students do a lot better job than I do um so I definitely don't I don't want to focus on you know the grade itself I want to focus on uh learning from others and that's my main goal so uh so yeah and then lastly futuristic head in the clouds dreamer lacks sense of reality I don't know if that really applies here. I could see where maybe it applies in other areas of my life, but I don't think that that's going to deter me away from anything. Um, yeah, I think that one doesn't really apply too much. So anyways, um, hopefully uh, everyone has a good term, uh, even good two terms. I know we're almost done. So uh, nice meeting those of you that are, are new that I haven't met and those that I have. Uh, nice seeing you guys back so uh, have a good one thanks bye